Northern Australia. Arnhem Land Plateau. Stone country. Only a brave few know how to walk this land and survive. For thousands of years, this untamed corner of the world has protected an ancient secret. Until now. To see art like this, just amazing. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like this one. Margaret Catherine is an elder of the Jowin tribe. She is a bridge between worlds. She speaks to her ancestors, and they speak to her. We know that our ancestors always stay in the land. And through the river and the creek, that's how spirit people come. You can't see it, I can't see it, but I can feel it. In 2006, a rock art site was found hidden on Margaret's traditional land. It is called Gabarmung by the Jowin, meaning hole in the rock. With the discovery of this spectacular formation, Margaret must make a fateful decision for herself and for her people. Should she ask outsiders, the very people connected to the culture, which nearly destroyed her own, to now help resurrect it? She calls out to her ancestors. She has her answer. A team of internationally renowned archaeologists arrive. Limited funding means limited time. We can't cut corners because our responsibilities are more than to the square of soil that we're digging, but to the people and to the ancestors themselves. For the next 10 days, they will work side by side with Margaret and other Jowin women. The team is amazed by what they see. They marvel that Gabarmung has survived to this day. Just one of these fragile pillars supports over 20 tons of rock. Time has worn them down. This is really an area that you absolutely not touch. We touch this area. C'est toute cette dalle qui porte donc des peintures quand même majeures du site qui s'en va. Samples are taken, and when the results come in, they are staggering. Carbon dating reveals that Margaret's ancestors were walking this land nearly 40,000 years before the Great Pyramid was raised. This proves that the Jowan represent the oldest living culture in the world. It's an emotional moment. We thank you so much. I love you. We're getting a sense that we're only just beginning to understand the site itself. This is one woman's story to bring two cultures together in a race to revive her people's rightful place in history. Who knows what other secrets will soon be discovered?